Hello, this is Ed Dean. Um, I'm an IBIS consultant, and I have been so for uh, over three years now. We're going to go ahead and get started today. I uh, hope everybody's having a good morning. So today's session is going to be uh, called How to Take Advantage of the Management Reporter Web Portal. Um, it should be a fairly quick session, but we did want to point out some of the, the best features of the web portal and how to utilize them in your company. A quick agenda here. I'm just going to give a quick introduction and general overview of the Manager Reporter program um, just to catch anybody up that's not too familiar with it. Um, that should be fairly short so that we can get into the um, actual uh, subject, which would be the web portal. So the next three tasks here are um, specific to the web portal. We've got generating to the web portal and viewing in the web portal and then distributing from the web portal and um, other aspects related to distributing and the web portal. Finally, we'll end it with some question and answer. So uh, as for a general overview, I've, I've provided here a screenshot, and we'll see this during the live demo, but this is a screenshot of a general web viewer window. Um, it has a lot of the tasks that you'll see in the other side of the viewing part of the Managing Report application, which is called Report Viewer. And we'll just as a means to um, compare the two, we'll also generate that into that um, version as well. So in the one area is obviously where your data is generated in the web viewer. Um, that's where you see your report and all the data that it captured from your GP or AX environment. The two section down in the bottom right is uh, all your various tasks you can do from the web uh, the web viewer, I'll go over these during the demo, um, but that's where your settings are. And then finally, the number three boxes where you can navigate around your reporting tree if you generated um, with a reporting tree. Most of this is going to be comprised of the actual demo, so I'm going to get right into that. So first, here is Manager Reporter. This is called the Report Designer portion of the program. Uh, the client aspect of Manager Reporter is divided into this designer part, and then the, the ways you can view it. So to start off, we're going to make sure that we're going to, that it's defaulted to generate to our um, report viewer, the web viewer side. So what you do, if you go to tools and options, there's a um, checkbox called use management reporter report viewer as a default viewer. We're going to want to make sure that is unchecked in order for it to um, go to the web viewer automatically, which is what we want. If we had this box checked, it would automatically go to the report viewer, which is the application side of the viewing. Um, you can also see some default settings in terms of distribution here. It's going to go to the library automatically, and then um, here's where the manager importer files location is. This is a UNC path. Those are just defaults, though. Um, so what I'm going to do first, now that we know it's going to go to the web viewer, is generate this test report um, so that we have something to work with. I'll go ahead and select all the uh, levels of the reporting tree. Um, while this is generating, I'll mention something I came across. You're going to want to make sure you're, um, when generating to a shared path, you're going to want to make sure that the service account that runs Manager Reporter actually has access to that folder or else you'll get those errors that you were seeing online, unable to create the report link. So once we generate it, it's going to open up our web viewer in Internet Explorer automatically for us. It opens up automatically because we have view report when generated checked here. We're back in the Internet Explorer. Let's go over the areas again. We've got our data area, and depending on what level of detail you generate, this can be drilled down into in, in the same way that you would in the report viewer side of the program. The back button is located up in the top left if you need to go back. I'm running uh, Management Reporter CU9, cumulative update number nine. Um, so there's a few extra things you might notice that's not in your environment if you're running something a little older. There's this refresh button which um, is just an easier way to get new data, pull the new data from your GP system. This is especially useful at month end when um, things are changing a lot in the accounting system. Uh, something to note there on the refresh button, I'll go ahead and click it while I'm talking, is 
you have to um, either be a administrator, a designer, or a generator in order to use this refresh button. Because basically what it's doing is it's just generating the report again. It's, it's kind of like if you were to go back into the uh, report designer program and click generate. So you can see it takes about the same amount of time it would to just generate the report again. But you don't have to leave the Internet Explorer in order to do it. Right next to that is the publish button, which I'll get into a little bit more when we get to the distribution side of, of this webinar. Go to is a way to quickly get to the different sections of your report. So I can click liabilities and stockholders equity. It's a short report, so it's already there, but it, go ahead, it went ahead and highlighted it for me. You can tell it to show headers and footers or remove those, show previous reports, summary lines only. There's the zoom effect. And then there's the download settings as well, which will go over on distribution. So here is where you can change between the different levels of your reporting tree, just as you could in the report and viewer portion of the program. Once again, the back button still works. All right, so that's just basically using the web viewer in order to check out your data and in order to uh, navigate around the data. So the, uh, what we're going to go into now is distrib distribution of uh, these reports, um, utilizing the web viewer specifically. So for this report, I have in the output and distribution tab is going to be where we're mainly concerned. So here under output locations, it's obviously going to go to the library automatically, but we have the ability to specify some related report link locations. So these link locations can be um, either one of two things. They could be UNC Pass, which is what I have here, or they could be uh, SharePoint uh, folders, which you can generate to as well. Now you're going to want to, in terms of SharePoint, you're going to want to make sure your user has the proper access to write to the folder that, that you set up here in the reported li link location. But other than that, it should work the same as a UNC Path. So what this does is when you generate the report, it's going to automatically give you a link location in this, um, in this folder location. So I've already got the folder location opened. It's uh, named the same thing as our output file, output name right here. And um, it's in the uh, HTML format, so it's an internet shortcut. So if I double click there, you'll notice it, it just pulls up the same thing that we saw earlier. This is really useful for people who don't have access to a management report or viewer, the client, so that they can, but if they have access to the share folder, all they have to do is be given access to their domain user to view the report, and then they can just view it in the Internet Explorer. So this is, I see this often with more administrative users that uh, just need to jump in quickly and don't need any access to the viewer program specifically. You can add comments here so that when next time somebody opens the folder or, or the file from the same folder, it'll leave your comments for you and you can see the little comment note here. If I was to reopen it, we've got our comments there. So it, um, you're basically changing this when you change it um, in the link location for everyone who views this specific report, just like it would be in the report viewer. Um, so some more distribution options here. We've got um, this download button. The three options are XPS, Viewer, Excel, and then we can send it, uh, open it up in Manager Report or Report Viewer, which is kind of the default um, viewer for these management reporter reports. So let's just check out XPS viewer. Um, this is a pop-up blocker prompt. You just click, click yes, continue. And it'll take a second um, because of uh, the fact that we, we generated it at every level of the reporting tree. But once it's ready, we can click open. Um, I'm running Windows 8. This is the default viewer for Windows 8 for XPS documents. You can see it looks the same basically and every level of the reporting tree is going to be included on a single page. So one thing to note about these distributing it in this way, XPS and Excel, um, it loses security when you generate to that since Excel doesn't, doesn't know and XPS doesn't know 
which users, which manager and quarter users have access to what, you lose the security settings when you generate to these different, um, different formats. So it's best in order to maintain the security settings you have built into Manager Importer, which can be robust. It would be good to try and utilize the web viewer or the report viewer whenever possible rather than distributing through uh, XPS or Excel. But those are options available. So I'm going to jump back into the report designer real quick and talk a little bit more about um, things that affect how uh, the web viewer is distributed, web viewer reports are distributed. Right here in the output and distribution tab, we've seen Excel and XPS, but um, this, these are different, different settings that affect how those are generated. So fonts and shading, you can generate it to a single worksheet and include the comments. Um, some are the settings in Excel, and some same with XPS, include bookmarks, row, column, and page breaks, and then including comments and things of that nature. One more thing I wanted to go over that is very useful in the distribution of reports is report groups. So here you can um, lump a number of reports together that need to be generated um, or are often generated together. These can be viewed very easily from the web viewer and it's got a nice um, format for viewing these. So I'm going to go ahead and generate this uh, to the web viewer as well so you can see what a group would look like. Um, we'll also pick all the reporting tree levels and it's going to ask us for every report we have what we want to generate that. So here it's going to process the entire group for us and then um, spit it out into the web viewer application. So while this is doing that, um, I'll talk about once you have set up a report group, it would be um, valuable to put that report group into a schedule to run uh, periodically so that you know you have the most up-to-date information without having to refresh or regenerate the data. So here's our group that just generated. You can see it starts off at the group level and you can drill down into any of the reports that you've, that you've generated into that group. So I could go into the one we were just looking at by itself or the other one. And you'll notice also the, that the download option is still available when you're viewing both reports or all the reports in your group. So if you need to send a entire group of reports to Excel or XPS for distribution, that can be done in the web viewer pretty easily just by clicking the download button when you're at the group. So back to schedules that I was talking about, you're going to want to put these groups into schedules so that they generate every night and leave you with up-to-date information. This is especially useful if you've identified a universal naming convention path here so that anyone that has access to these shared folders would be able to jump in, click a link, uh, maintain their access to Management Porter, and know that it's the most up-to-date information as of whenever the schedule was run. I often see these schedules run nightly at 3 in the morning or something like that um, so that when you get in in the morning you'll know that you have these up-to-date reports. One thing to note on report schedules is you're probably going to want to make sure view report group when generated is not checked so that it doesn't try and open the report you know, at night when the schedule is running when nobody's there to actually view it. Um, but that's just a little caveat there for the report schedules and utilizing. So that's really going to be it for the utilizing the web portal. We wanted to highlight some of the main functions that will help add value to your companies for the web viewer. Um, mainly you want to focus on the fact that you don't have to have the report viewer applications in order to view these programs. So anyone with domain with a domain user and the right access to the reports can view them in the web viewer. Also to note is the um, sharing of comments across and the utilization of shared folders or the SharePoint site. Um, so that's going to cover everything on my end. We are available to answer questions. You can email us at marketing at ibisinc.com. There's our phone number and our Twitter handle. So if you have any questions further that you come across, please feel free to email us. Thank you for your time.